Welcome back. We're going to, um, to Lagos State University where on Thursday the university was shut down following a violent protest by the students over their inability to access the school's registration portal for the exams. Um, now students went on rampage. I understand it started on Wednesday but on Thursday it went violent. Why? Uh, the students were required to register online to sit for the meet semester examination midterm semester examination semester semester examination semester examination but only um, about a thousand two hundred and ninety two students or about a thousand students were unable to register for that examination the students barricaded the road um, and the institution and they were said to have locked up principal officers in their offices over the increase in the school fees from fifty five thousand to eighty five thousand that's another side well let's help us um, shed more light on this um, we do have a report on that. We would see that report, but let's just introduce um, Dr. Shola Folusho, who's a lecturer for Sudo, who's a lecturer in the Theatre Arts Department and the Director of Information, Lagos State University. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you very much. Uh, just before we come back to you, we'll take a let's listen to this report on what happened in Yeni, in Lasso. The main entrance of the Lagos State University, Ojo is besieged by police patrol vehicles and an armored personnel carrier. Their primary mission here is to restore law and order while enforcing peace on the campus. Behind these gates, the students are protesting against the closure of the portal for registration, which they say has disrupted the examinations. Some students who had not registered you know, for the semester period to the exam period you know, were protesting. That they've not been, their issue has not been resolved. And we're supposed to, we're scheduled to start our exams today. So there was serious fight in school yesterday. And then we're hoping this morning to come into school and have our exams, hoping that you know the issue would have been resolved. But on getting to school this morning, I realized that there was I mean there were so many police officers around with guns, and then students were still protesting at you know the admin building where we have our visa office. And then from one thing to the I mean one thing to the uh, one thing led to the other, and eventually, you know, there was a serious where um, police officers started releasing um and tear gases. I mean, it was so much that we had a lot of students in, injured and then were brought down to the hotel. The important thing is that some even paid their school fees yesterday. They paid their school fees yesterday and then they know they can't open the portal for us. So why, why collect the fees? Why collect the fees? This thing is so. They won't just get tear, tear, tear gas at us. I'm very, very. Uh, my, uh, my mood is not very, very okay now. I have to go to the health center for, for check up. Please, they should resolve it, please. At the University Health Center, some of the students are being revived from the effect of tear gas. Those already treated are immediately discharged. This is an institution. We don't look at personality, but unfortunately in Africa, especially in Lasu, personality, personality is what we are looking at. Personality, somebody thinks he can rule just because he's... He has, um, it is, it is uncalled for, it is oppressive. As it stands, the police are not ready to shift grounds. The students are also adamant about not sitting for their exams without proper registration. A lot of damage has been done. And from the look of things, it may take the intervention of higher authorities in the days to come to avert further violence. Well, Dr. Fosido, you saw that story. What's your take? Well, <clears throat> I want us to call a spade a spade. I think... Um, the students uh, went beyond, you know, uh, what they are supposed to do because registration in the university does two things. When you are admitted into school, the first thing you are supposed to do within a week or two is to acknowledge the admission given to you and then register for the courses you are going to take in the semester to show that I have resumed and I have registered. 
Now, every department needs to know how many students they have. That is what reg registration does. And when you register, you take a copy of your registration form to the faculty and one to the department, and then the ICT and the exams and records also capture your data. Secondly, when you write those exams of the courses you are registered for, and the results are uploaded, the, your data, the results can be captured, you know, uh, will, will, you know, locate your registration so that you can have, have results. But when the students uh, resume, we resumed in February, and as at Jan February 2013, and as, as at January 2014, some students have not registered for, for the courses, I mean, they have not registered their presence within the university.